All right, guys, Andy Main here again at Pure Mixed Martial Arts with my brother Mike. Um, this time I'm going to be teaching the arm bar off of the collar choke that we just went over for LearnToGrapple.com. So if you watched the previous video, we went over the collar choke reaching in, reaching across, and finishing, reaching in, pulling nice and tight, reaching behind, and coming around and finishing that choke. Well, this guy, my opponent, obviously does not want to be choked, okay? So as soon as I start reaching in the collar and breaking his posture by my legs being locked, pulling my knees in nice and tight here, he's very often gonna start to push away from me, okay? And if he's strong, if he uses good posture, okay, I'm not gonna be able to sometimes keep him down, all right? And if I go for the choke at this point, while his head is so far away from me, I'm just gonna wear out my arms, okay? So I always wanna have a plan B. So I go for my choke, Okay, and I'm here, I start to reach across or I come around right and my, my partner or my, or my opponent starts to push away. What is he doing here is he's actually extending his arms, all right? He's creating, he's giving me an opportunity to attack his arm by pushing away. So I'm not going to let go of my collar because I want, of, of his collar because I want him to keep pushing away until I wrap myself around his arm, okay? So I pull and sometimes I'll even make it look like I really want this choke really bad. Okay, and I'm gonna pick a side. I'm always gonna attack the side that my first hand went four fingers in. Okay, my four fingers in here. So that side, that arm, at the same time, I'm still going for my choke. I'm gonna take the leg that's on that side and I'm gonna put it right in the hip. Okay, what this is gonna do is if I drive my, my knee nice and tight to his shoulder, it pins his arm, which he now straightened out, right down the center of my stomach, which is exactly where I want it. And I'm still faking this choke. I'm still saying, I don't want this choke. Now with the other leg, I'm gonna climb up his back and I'm gonna drive down, okay? Meanwhile, the leg that was in the hip on this side is watch, it's gonna push. It's gonna push so that my head comes sideways and now I'm perpendicular with his body. I'm looking into his ear, which makes this arm even more straight down my body and makes it harder for him to defend and pull out. Meanwhile, this leg climbs up and gets heavy on his back. Okay? The reason I want to be heavy on his back is because once I start to attack his arm, if he's able to posture out, okay, there's no more finish for me. There's no more arm lock. So I'm here. If at this point he starts to try to pull up, I'm very heavy on his back. Plus I have my grip. I haven't let go. Sometimes I'll still try to attack the choke a little bit. Okay? And, he, and uh, he's stuck at this point. So now the leg that was on the hip on the other side is going to simply come around the neck, okay, around the head to the uh, back of his neck and I'm going to bite down, bite down with both heels, pinch, pull everything in nice and tight. Now from here I'm going to look to attack this arm but often I'll still leave my choking hand in to ensure this position is extra tight because I don't need two hands to finish this arm lock. All I'm going to do is hold, make sure his thumb is facing up, if his thumb is facing down that means his elbow, is, his angle of his elbow changes and I'm not going to be able to finish. So the thumb faces up, and if I need to, I'll use my hand, I'll manipulate it. I point his thumb straight to the ceiling, I hold, I bite down, and I lift my, up, my hips up into his elbow, okay? If you're having a hard time, then I can let go, okay? And this is gonna allow me to drive even heavier into his, into his uh, head and his back. His arm is isolated, my hips are right behind the joint of the elbow, which as I lift my hips, his arm straightens, and the arm can only straighten so much before it breaks, and he's going to be forced to tap. So one more time, a little bit faster through. I go for my choke, I start going for the other side, I turn right. he blocks, he pushes away from me. No problem, I'm still going to grab my choke, even though I'm not going to be able to get it because it's going to set up my arm lock. I'm going to put my far hip, the foot on the same side as the original hand that went in, on the hip, knee comes tight. I'm going to push off of that hip and create the angle at the same time this leg is going to come up nice and high and bite down. Okay? Now, from, now that I have the angle, this is going to be an easy transition. Look, if I stay over here, it's going to be very awkward to bring my leg over. If I push the angle, look into his ear and bite down, this is going to be a very easy transition. So if you're struggling, you're not doing it right. Okay? Make that angle so that you're not struggling. Bite down, pull everything in nice and tight. Make sure his thumb is facing straight up, drive down and lift my hips until I get the tap. 